Welcome back to Cloud Champ. So in the previous video we saw how Ansible actually works and I've explained everything. In this video we are going to install Ansible on Ubuntu instance. If, if you don't have Ubuntu you can launch an instance in the EC2. And if you don't know how to launch an instance do not worry I have created a video. I'll link it here and you can go check it out. So this is an Ubuntu instance in my EC2 console. If you have any other operating system you can use this documentation which shows how to install Ansible on Ubuntu, Red Hat, Arc Linux, Mac OS and different operating system. So we have Ubuntu here and we will SSH into it. So I'm going to connect to my instance and we are inside the instance here. So to check if Ansible is present or not you can run a command that is Ansible hyphen hyphen version. So this shows that there is no Ansible present in my system and installing Ansible on Ubuntu is quite easy. There's only two commands. You just need to run two commands to install Ansible. So the first is sudo apt update. You need to update. This is best practice and every cloud or DevOps engineer should do this before starting. So let's just update everything. And after this, we are going to install Ansible using a single command. So here everything is update, updated. Now let's just install Ansible with a single command that is sudo apt install Ansible. So, sorry, sudo apt install Ansible. So you're going to prompt and you have to type y here to continue. And now if you see, you, Python is going to be installed because Ansible is made on Python and Python is quite strong language and you need to learn Python. I'm, I've started you learning Python for cloud and yeah, hopefully I'll make more videos on Python in future. So it is setting up Ansible here and it has been downloaded. Let's see what version do we have here by running the same command that is Ansible version. So it is the latest version and we have successfully downloaded Ansible on our Ubuntu machine. I hope this was quite easy and you have installed Ansible on your machine. So if you got the Ansible on your machine, please subscribe to this channel. And after installing, there's more to the video. After installing, you can check out this folder that is etsy and there will be a folder created under the name of Ansible. And if you list down the elements, you have host and ansible.config file. So in this host file, you just need, if you want to execute our task on the remote machines, if you don't know what uh, managed hosts or remote machines are please check the previous video so we are going to enter the IPs of managed nodes in this host file and like this so there's an example here the host file the host file and the next one is ansible.config file you can make changes in this config file according to your needs and this is advanced we will look into ansible config file in the further sessions in the next video hopefully and that's it. I hope you have understood the video and also subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. It is very important so that you can get content on DevOps and cloud. And that's it. Have a good day. Thank you.